They are the armies that have long attacked the trees of Washington. They are part of the ecosystem. But as trees come under stress from drought and climate change, they become more vulnerable to attack. And when they're done eating their fill, the trees left behind stand as gray ghosts. Even infested trees that are still green are already fatally wounded. The marks left behind at Blewett Pass by the spruce budworm are still here. One threat to the forest gives way to another. It was shocking to me, having not seen a tussock moth outbreak before, how many acres just instantly turned gray. Larry Leach manages forests for the Department of Natural Resources in the southeastern quarter of the state. The effects are startling. These gray trees, 100 acres of Douglas fir in the midst of unaffected ponderosa pine. What happened, happened fast. Yeah, just over the course of the summer. So this is what we call a pheromone trap. Glenn Kohler is the state's entomologist, a bug specialist. We put up these traps to collect the males. And then when the population in these traps increases, uh, we use them to know there's a, an outbreak on the horizon. He says the female moths don't fly, but once the eggs hatch, the caterpillars are so small, the wind does the rest. So to get to new areas, these will blow on the wind and sometimes you'll get them to come to ridge tops mm -hmm. uh, and you can start a new outbreak. Taking out the stand of trees helps them get ahead of the problem. So if a fire starts down there, it will stop here instead of taking off and exploding. If you look over here, there's a couple more. On the west side of the state, a big enemy is fungus, what they call root rot, killing trees by cutting off their ability to absorb nutrients. They lose their tops and then topple over, unable to stand with their roots gone. In western Washington, the root disease is just as impactful, if not more, uh, as it is on the east side. In 2015, aerial surveys found 338,000 acres of sick and dying trees. By 2019, that had nearly doubled the 658,000. But it can take time for the impacts of one year to show up in another. Take these aerial photos. This image was made in 2015, the record drought year. This forest looks healthy. By 2019, each of those yellow dots represents a lodgepole pine succumbing to mountain pine beetle. If with climate change, we have more frequent drought, we have more intense drought, and what I like to call hot drought. So it's not just a lack of water. You've also got these days that are record high temperatures. Like on the west side, you're getting 95 degree days. The number of those days through the summer being in the 10, 12, 15, um, that puts a lot of moisture stress on the leaves of the trees. It's all about balance. This Douglas fir was left as habitat for wildlife. It also plays host to other plants. But too many dead trees become standing fuel for large wildfires, like they are at Blewett Pass. In Kittitas County, Glen Farley, King 5 News.